Rice has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick throw. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and nine. nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 26. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. They had a long, long way to go, and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down. First and ten, all on their own 36. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 57, Mike 57. Ready! Three, 19! Three! Got it and brought down immediately. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He's on the run. And they make the stop at about the 49. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense in their sight. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. They'll bring him down right around the 40. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. It's the ninth play of the drive. They'll run it. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. From the 20 yard line, it's second down. Nice play fake. Fires out to his receiver. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. This is the 11th play of this drive. And he's going to be sacked. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. They're at the eight. Second down. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. That's a gain of one on the play.
That, that makes, makes it third and goal. goal. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Four down, four down. Fifty-seven's the mic. Watch fifty-seven. Let's go. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of ten yards on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. Fourth down, they'll call on the field goal unit here. UAB could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Owls' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. And they got him for a loss. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made right around the 44 yard line. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. From their own 42 yard line, second down. He's hit and taken down. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds around the 28 yard line. So at the end of one, the Blazers lead 3-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Roger, Roger. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Come on, baby. And he's taken down around the 18 yard line. Mike 51, Mike 51. That makes it first and 10. All day, just like that. Just like that. Go! Good outside run there. Got an opening. Brought down just outside the goal line. That's going to be a game of yards. That makes it first and goal. It's a fumble. Picks up the loose ball. Defense wasn't fooled at all on the option, and it was their discipline that created that turnover. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. UAB is up by three. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. 83 yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own five-yard line. Second down. complete he's got room to work still on his feet he's taken down the 42 yard line
So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Looks left, picked off. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. Quick strike, and he drops it. Don't think the other receivers didn't see that hit. They'll be thinking about this guy when they're running their routes, too. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. That's a great tackle. It's the 36-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. They'll get him in the backfield. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. They'll call on the field goal unit. Rice is looking to tie things up. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, false start offense. offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start as a lineman will see movement on the down. other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. UAB is up a field goal. And he hits him hard at the 31. From their own 31-yard line. First down. He makes his way to about the 42. Zips it to the back. He's tackled at the 45. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. again and down he goes at the 40. It's third and five. Ball on the 40. Here's the handoff and he's brought down right away. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. UAB holds a field goal lead. Kick is up, it's got the distance, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of 
this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Lost the ball, recovered by the offense. Tackle at the 30-yard line. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. He steps up at the 32. That makes it third and three. Rice is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Throws complete and he's hit right away. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. for the tight end, but they can't hook up. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. UAB is up by six. He fights forward to about the 23. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Well, we're headed to halftime now. We're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. Six-nothing, UAB. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So... When you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Blazers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Kill, kill, kill! Three. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. That's good for a gain of seven yards. 
That'll bring up second and three. Ain't no such thing as a loss. We take it. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. Hard again at 12 yards. First down. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. He's on the run. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down around the 47-yard line. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Game of six on the play. First down. They'll drop in for a loss. That'll bring up second and eleven. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Got a man, watch out here. He's knocked out of bounds. The 37 yard line. He's got it with room to run. Heading for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mike 51, Mike 51. And he can't get away from the pressure. That'll make it second and nine. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Fires out to his wideout. Fires it out. Tackle made right around the 20. Number 51 with the tackle. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Fourth down. Defense coming to the line. They'd like to force another red zone fumble and keep points off the scoreboard here. It's up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. UAB has a three-point lead. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. First and ten. Ball on their own 38. Makes it out to about the 46. That makes it second and two. He lets it fly. Great concentration to pull it in. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And he 
converts the extra point with a three-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. The score now, 13-3. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread, or the pistol, and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important goal games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back the room that he needed. First down. He breaks it. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. From their own 37-yard line, it's third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He wants it all going long, and he's got it! And he's taken down around the 11-yard line. What a throw. Well, here you get to see how accurate the quarterback is. He places the deep ball in there perfectly. Just a great throw. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's taken down around the four-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. He's scrambling. He's tackled around the one-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. The draw within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Rice gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Gives it to the back. They bring him down in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 23. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. The Blazers lead 13-10. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. UAB is up by three. He scrambled. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Gets to about the 37-yard line, and the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. Oh, 
That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. A junior makes the catch, and he's tackled right away. That'll bring up fourth and five. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 21. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Quick strike to the receiver. And he hits him hard at the 31-yard line. Number 11 on the tackle at the 31-yard line. Hey, Mike, 51. First down. All right, D, let's All right, D. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. Loss of one there for the halfback. I'm sure this running back will be looking around for that guy the next time he takes a handoff. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 30. He's out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Another run. Nice run there as they work the outside. Just under three to go in regulation. Booming kick. He'll take it from the 18. Tackle at the 25-yard line. All these defensive coaches have got to be loving what they've seen from their guys today. Well, you and I talked to both of these coordinators getting ready for this game, and they put together a game plan. They shared it with us, and we're seeing it out there on the field today. They still are going to determine the outcome of this game. A score here might effectively end this one. He steps up. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Here we go. Come on. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Man, this is tough going for this quarterback. Next time out, he needs to just relax. Think back to all those practices and not worry about what's happened in this game up to now. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. They'll bring him down to 39-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. Second and 13. Ball on their own 36. Just over two minutes in the game. Now he tries to buy some time. 
And he's hit immediately. They blitzed the corner that time, and it created a hole in the coverage. But that's the risk you take when you leave a receiver to rush the passer. First and ten. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. And they got him for a loss. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. Well, the kicker is on here, and if this goes, we've got a tie ball game. If not, this one's in the books, and he's got it. The Owls star quarterback knowing that he just had to keep his poise in that situation to get him in field goal range. Well, he did such a good job of just letting the game develop and let the game come to him as opposed to forcing the issue and some forcing some bad reads and throws. That time he did a really nice job of getting his team into range to be able to get that tying field goal. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game. A tied football game. And the question now is, who's going to rise to the occasion? We have less than a minute to go. Slings it. Start there. False start, start offense. offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 28. And he's tackled at the 43. The Blazers will use their first time out of the half. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 40. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. The kick is away, and he nails the long field goal. If they field the kick here, a touchdown return is their only chance at victory. Excellent kick. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go.
a defensive gem here today in a low scoring final 16 13 UAB that brings this broadcast to a close 3A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.